Good Sunday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik down here in the lower right, uh, left-hand corner of your screen. For those of you watching on Periscope, Instagram, we're also on Google Plus and YouTube. How I don't know the engineering staff does that. I just do here. The, I just do all the forecasting stuff uh, for this morning. Looking again at a very quiet morning across the mid south. Some of our camera views at this time showing the area around St. Francis in Cordova. You're looking at Germantown Parkway moving on through just south of I-40. We're also seeing a little bit of a breeze out there. Old Glory at St. Francis out of the northeast this morning and clouds coming in from the northwest looking back toward the Ikea store there and back up toward I-40 and the Wolf Chase area this morning. More of our webcams available at wrag.com slash webcams. Sunrise on approach at Bethel Springs Elementary in Bethel Springs, Tennessee. A beautiful morning starting off. Very quiet, very dry. A little bit of cloud cover again drifting on through. If you're interested, uh, again, the four Forecast information, current conditions right here as of just after 7 o'clock. Today's forecast, mid to upper 60s with plenty of clouds mixed in with the sunshine. Partly cloudy tonight on the lower bar, mid 50s with winds turning out of the southeast. And of course, more weather available right there, up there at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to see more. Germantown around the area looking back toward East Memphis and the towers close to around Poplar Pike and Germantown Road where the railroad tracks head on over and just north of Germantown. Town High School. Cloudy skies leaves more clouds coming our way allowing for a brilliant sunrise for this morning. Windy Country Club, you can see some of those clouds off to the south, and it looks like the grounds crew is out and about getting things ready to go for a nice round of golf coming up later on today. Earthquakes in the Mid-South, nothing to speak of in the last 24 hours. And thank you very much to the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis and, of course, the United States Geological Survey for keeping an eye on what's going on with the New Madrid fault line. Temperatures over the next several hours, again, not doing too bad out there. Should be back into the mid to upper 40s to around the lower 50s as we go throughout the course of the rest of the day. The clouds will be sticking around and winds will be out of the east at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Not exactly too breezy, but not calm either. Cloud cover again sticking around throughout the rest of the day, but we're just not seeing anything at this point in time in the way of rainfall. So doubtful we're going to be looking at too much of anything in the way of rain coming our direction. There is some echoes coming down from around portions of Missouri and into around Arkansas saw, but it's so dry down toward the surface that anything that drops down this way is more than likely going to be evaporating, so there's little, if anything, left over from there. Lower 50s for our lows yesterday, 73 the high, well above normal as opposed to the ice box we saw earlier this week. 14 the record low set in 1923, and a record high that hasn't been broken since 2012 of 83 degrees. Yesterday we picked up just over a quarter of an inch of rainfall. We are still behind for the year by about two and two-thirds inches, so we can definitely use some more. We're almost right spot on for March, about five hundredths of an inch above that, so not doing too bad, but can use some definite amounts of rainfall throughout the course of the rest of the month to kind of balance things out a bit. We are seeing, again, these speckles of rainfall making their way on down toward the south and to the east, and as they move into the mid-south, we may see, again, more clouds more than anything else, but I really doubt we're going to see anything in the way of rainfall across much of the area for later on today. Clouds, yes, but not seeing anything in the way, again, of concentrated amounts of rainfall. It's just not really going to be possible with all the dry air across much of the Mid-South area. Now, through the day, temperature is going to be fluctuating a little bit. The computer model's a little bit over-eager here, showing some temperatures in the Mid-South in the mid to upper 50s. Doubt they're going to be that cool throughout the rest of the day as some of these winds, again, coming in from around the southeast are going to help to keep the temperatures up by just a little bit. So I really think the computers are kind of over-hedging their bets on these very cool numbers that we're seeing across the area here. More than likely going to be looking at more like temperatures like this in the upper 60s to around the lower 70s for much of the area. It should be a beautiful day for getting outdoors and getting stuff done. Again, chances of rainfall basically slim to none on that and very much on the mild side. So Dyersburg, Blytheville, Ripley, Tennessee, back around Osceola, I would think that you're going to be seeing some much warmer numbers than what you're seeing on the screen here. So I tend to disagree with what we're looking at on the computer models here. Now through the rest of the evening and into tomorrow, 
not picking up too much of anything. It should be mild around News Channel 310. Remember, we'll be on late tonight thanks to the NCAA tournament, so tune in for more on that. And then by tomorrow morning, News Channel 3's Todd Demers is back on the air with Daybreak. Spring starts officially at 5.30 in the morning, and if you have any plans for being outdoors tomorrow, won't need the umbrella, may need a jacket as temperatures in parts of the Mid-South, especially back up to around uh, Dyersburg, Northwest Tennessee, might make their way back into around the lower... Uh, 50s to mid to upper 40s or so. Beyond that, it really just doesn't look too bad across much of the area. Now, this is important, uh, not immediate, but in the next several days, maybe looking at more possibilities of some problems heading our direction. For today, the threat of severe weather is going to be welling up between Chicago, Columbia, Missouri, and back into southwestern Iowa, so not seeing a problem for us today. Likewise, not a threat into tomorrow either. The line that you're seeing on screen here, the green colors that we see, into this area north of us is a generic threat of just thunderstorms. And again, much of what we might see will be late on Monday for it to reach that far south. What we're going to be looking for specifically is going to be coming up on Tuesday. The Storm Prediction Center has placed this green shaded area very close to the Mid-South. Apologies for the wibbly wobbly on screen. I'm trying to get the computer to do what I want it to do. Uh, a marginal threat for severe weather will be in effect for portions of the Mid-South. It's not going to be for everybody, but from Dyer County through Jackson down to about very close to northeast Arkansas, that's where we're going to see the possibility of maybe some large hail damaging winds as we go toward Tuesday evening into around Wednesday morning or so. It's not huge, but keep in mind that this forecast will change one way or the other. Now, it could, again, retreat back toward the north and to the east. It could also expand and get worse as we go into around the next few days, a little bit closer to the Mid-South area and the News Channel 3 viewing area, so that's why it's important to stay tuned. You see a lot of news stories nationally where people say it was without warning, had no warning whatsoever. These forecasts that you see here from the Storm Prediction Center and as we pass it along to you in the Mid-South area, again from the weather experts, this is your warning. This is your distant early warning, so to speak, to let you know what's going on. This is your opportunity to make certain that you are prepared for the possibility of severe weather in the Mid-South. We'll try to help keep you updated on that. Mid to upper 60s today, we'll be seeing increasing clouds throughout the rest of the day into this evening. By tomorrow, clouds here and there, nothing really huge, and temperatures very close to 80 degrees. So the first full day of spring will definitely feel like it into tomorrow. Mid to upper 70s, a little cooler as we head into and around the area of Tuesday, and that's also where we start to see in the afternoon and evening hours the possibility of some showers and maybe some thunderstorms in there. The possibility of showers and thunderstorms will continue off and on throughout the course of the next couple of days. Excuse the nasal problems, getting over a cold at this point. Friday into Saturday, we could be looking maybe at the possibility of some severe weather coming our way. That's something we're really going to have to watch as we get into the next several days. Again, this time of the year between January and about early May, somewhere in there, that's about the prime time for severe weather season in the Mid-South. And that's why it's so important to keep up to date on these forecasts because even though you have numbers here that look pretty nice throughout the course of the rest of the week, you can't tune in on a Saturday night and expect things to be the same next Saturday. So you've got to pay attention to the forecast and keep it tuned to News Channel 3. Outside of a brief cool down as we go toward Wednesday or so, we're just not seeing that much in the way of major problems out there where it comes to really cold weather into parts of the Mid-South, so good news on that. Check out my complete forecast available on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 throughout the rest of the weekend. And don't forget to get our weather app, whatever app, uh, whatever program you've got, whatever phone, go to your app store and search WREG Weather for more, and be sure to join me on all these social media networks so I can keep you updated as to what's going on with the weather forecast. Nina Harrelson and myself on News Channel 3 Daybreak for the rest of the morning, and if you'd like to see more about the newscast tonight, we'll be on the Anytime channel and throughout the rest of the evening, uh, again, on our live watching button online, WREG.com. Watch live now. You can see in the upper left-hand corner of your screen, so definitely want to stop by there if you want to keep up to date, and we'll have the late edition of News Channel 3 at noon after all the tournament stuff wraps up and after elementary. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for today's exclusive video weather blog update, weather overtime, and we'll have more throughout the rest of the day online and on air for News Channel 3. Thanks for joining me.